Hey everyone, my name is Steven Gaff. I'm going to help you set up Euroscope today. Um, download Euroscope. All you're going to have to go to is Google search Euroscope. Okay, once you do that, you're going to go to this link right there, download Euroscope, and it's going to pop up and you just go download the file. Just download from the main site. Okay, once you install that and all that is good, what you're going to do is you're going to have a icon on your desktop called Euroscope 3.1 Delta. Double click it, it should open up this screen. Now mind you, it is, it is a full screen application. There is no taskbar to so if you need to get your taskbar, you just have to hit the Windows key on your desktop. Okay? So uh this is how we're gonna start off. Okay. First of all, you want to set up your connection details. So I'm just gonna go from left to right and show you pretty much how to do it. Menu pretty much doesn't do anything, you just you know click if you want some of these or whatnot. Uh file name primary frequencies which will go right there. So we're just gonna go to connect route. Okay, we're just gonna go direct to VATSIM. Now you're gonna enter your call sign. Most uh ARTCCs or uh VAT Euro will if you're an observer like I am right now, because I'm waiting for my S one rating to uh be effective, you just go your call sign, your first last name initials with OBS under that. Facility and rating as observer server UK. Then you enter your role name. Your certificate is pretty much your VATSIM ID. Okay, and password. Okay, and then you just can save that profile. So next time you load up, it'll just save for you and automatically start. I always click start logging. Um, uh, but I'm not going to do it right now. You just click start login. Okay. Now your voice communication setup dialog will pop up. Um, let's just go ahead and start that right now. Um, I'm going to be showing you London Gatwick ground. So this is what we do as controllers or observe, as observers is um, airport ICAO and then your position ground frequency 121.800 in the server we use liveatc.net so rw. net channel is pretty much your name for the frequency the egg egkk underscore ground just in lowercase okay and uh, after we do that we want to go hardware setup and you just want to select your input device your primary output device, which I use as my speakers. Okay, and then secondary output device as headphones. And if you do have a secondary input, like a mi another microphone hooked up your computer, just click the second microphone. Uh, you just find your squelch if you need to or whatnot. I'm not going to do that during this. Then uh, same with your mic test. But the primary key and the secondary push to talk key you can just set right now. Okay. Now we're just going to click close out of that. And we're going to click new microphone okay so now that's all set up click it as primary you want to be able to receive text transmit text receive voice and if your controller transmit voice I'm not going to do that right now I'm the only one connected to this channel at the moment as you can see that connected users um, that's because I don't have everything set up right now so we're just going to click unclick all these because I don't want to listen to the people and we're just going to click close now you see all these little triangles are the aircraft okay as we move in closer you see this aircraft which is in red they're um, they're squawking an emergency code probably 7700 which is illegal on VATSIM you'll probably get kicked if you um, don't clear with the ATC first because that is a pretty big offense it's just a waste of time for um, VATSIM controllers to deal with uh, um, people who aren't taking this serious as VATSIM is a serious network okay so now we're just gonna go over here to open sector and we're gonna click download sector files if you don't already have this shown you probably don't so you're gonna click load IKO airline data and you can find that in your libraries documents Euroscope folder and it'll all be in here so um, or settings somewhere um, data files, there it is under data files. Since we're loading IACO Airlines, just click that as well as airport data. 
Okay, and we just go down the list. You need to load these. Um, uh, load VAT SIM server IP addresses. If you don't already have all that, it should already um, already be loaded. But just in case something isn't working or whatnot, now you're gonna click Download Sector Files. You can find your sector um, through this list, or if your sector has a file on their website like uh, VAT USA or VAT UK does under their downloads. Um, see, I'm from uh, VAT Sim UK, so I just click that and click Download. Since I already downloaded it, I don't need to do it again. Then um, once it's downloaded off of the main server, you can see provided sector files, Scottish for the north and London for the south. And you're just going to click that and click download. Like I just did. I want to download it again. Uh, when you do that, you see down here in the message section, you'll see vatsim.co.uk slash files and all that is downloaded. Okay, and just click out of that. And now we're going to open sector open and you will see uh, files somewhere settings as I just had it okay it's probably on my desktop Sector files. There it is. Sector. Um, but first, you have to open up an ASR. ASR is pretty much the same thing, but um, ask your ARTC for, ARTCC for that. They'll give it to you. Once you have that, go open the sector. Yeah, I'm just going to do EGKK. ASR. There it is. This is your airport. Okay. This is the center line. There's green and blue lines. Okay. See, so uh, British Airways 66 just took off. Okay. This is your airport, pretty much. All the stands, the runways, the taxiways, the RR, um These are the points. Hold position points. Okay. Now that that's loaded, um, click Other Set. And we're going to save the profile as... Then name it whatever you want. I these are all my profiles. I'm just gonna be naming it Bob for now. Okay. Now under other set, I'm just gonna go to uh, display settings. Uh, we want the runways ticked, airports ticked. We want um, all of these unticked. We don't need them. You don't want to see them. They'll just cluster everything up. Unless you're like a Tracon or a um, uh, approach or tower or whatever you want those clicked on uh, geo and free text you want ticked and all the others pretty much to your discretion now you want to sh make sure these two are ticked number of history docs you can change those but I always do it as five just for the sake of it 90,000 feet you don't want to display aircraft above and then the leader line you can just do five miles or minutes if you needed to Tag family is the Midas built-in, which you just use. Now, if you're doing ground, you just click Easy Ground, or if you want to be really professional, you just click Radar, Apply, and then OK. As you see, these airplanes will turn into little dots. That's what rear, real um, uh, radars will look like. I'm just going to change that back to Easy Ground, just for the sake of this tutorial. There it is. OK, now once that's set, you can change your tags if you need to for... Um, ground mode, flight plan mode, all of these, they're all editable. Okay. Um, symbology settings as well, these are all editable to your liking. It's all pretty much play, play with it and whatnot. Um, all those. Um, active airport and runways. So, I'm located at Gatwick. One in Gatwick. Right now, eight left, eight right are not in use. 26 right is not in use, which is the smaller of the runways right here. Uh, 26 left is in use for departing and arriving, which is this one right here, the longer one. Okay. System messages, which will pop up down here, server messages, and these are your um, frequencies. If someone's on ground and they can only chat text, then you uh, text them via the frequency. Um, as well, these over here are all the active frequencies online. EGKK ground. I'm just going to click listen to frequency. 
that'll make it so you can listen to them talk to other aircraft and pilots. Um, I'm just going to unclick them because I don't want to listen to them. Okay. Um, so you can just play around with these. And then quick set, you can show um, departure list, which will show all the uh, departing aircraft, um, uh, as well as the METAR list, which will show up all your METARs for the airports. Um, flight plan list, all the active flight plans will show up here. Okay, and if you just also if you when I double click they uh, come up on a different screen, but yeah. Um, departure list, all of these lists they'll pop up and start to populate as you are logged on to a specific frequency. Seeing how no one's logged on to the specific frequency that I have uh, chosen, oh, that's probably why. So now that that's open, I don't know if it'll populate or not. It does take a little bit. So, just wait for that. But these are the pretty much the basic settings for getting started. And then once you exit, you just click exit. And you want to save all to everything. And you just want to save it as your ASR for... Um, pretty sure we did Bob, so we'll just name it Bob. That one right there. Okay, and save. You're just going to click save. And there you are, you're out. So that was a simple tutorial on how to set up Euroscope. Any questions, just leave them in the um, comments below and I'll help you. Sorry the tutorial isn't uh, very professional, but you know, it's easy setup. There you go, have a good day.